Alicia. I'm back today and I'm going to be sharing with you all how I make my banana bread. Um, you will need uh, two cups flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of salt, uh, half a cup of butter, softened. Uh, I prefer the unsalted. You will also need uh, ripe bananas. I like to I like mine to be a little bit darker than this, but these are still pretty good to use to make them moist. Um, it calls for two, two and one third cups of bananas, but I'm just going to use four and put them in because I like a lot of banana flavor. It also calls for two eggs. And um, I'm not sure did I, I, I think it, it also calls for three fourths cups of brown sugar. All right, guys, so let's get started. So I've got my butter in the bowl. I, you want to cream together the brown sugar and the butter. So I'm going to go ahead and get my three-fourths cups of brown sugar in there. One, two, three. Okay, so now you want to just cream the butter and the sugar together. You'll need a, a stand mixer or a hand mixer, whatever one you guys have, it'll be fine. That's how I like to the consistency to be. Now um, we just need to add in the eggs and the bananas to this. It calls for the eggs to be beaten before you put them in. I don't do that. I don't see any point. Let's go ahead and do it. I'll just add, start adding in the bananas. And it just calls for uh, two and one third cup of bananas, but I'm just going to use four because I like the flavor and it makes them real. It makes the banana bread really, really moist. And while you're doing this, you also want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. So that way it'll be ready for you whenever you get ready. Just put it in. All right. Let's get the mix in.
if you get that done, you can set this bowl aside for now. And then we're gonna, you're going to need another bowl for the flour. Which you're going to need two cups of flour. And then you're going to need a teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon. And it calls for one fourth teaspoon of salt, but I'm just going to add salt until I think it's okay. All right. And then you want to give that a good mix. And then once you get the, the flour and all that mixed up, then you want to dump it in slowly, a little bit at a time, so that way we don't have a flour mess. Put some in right now. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more bananas to it, just to make it a little bit more moist, it's a little thick for my liking. Alright guys, so there is my batter. Um, it doesn't call for this in the recipe that I used, but I am going to add about a, a cup of walnuts to it. Um, we like walnuts in ours, so if you want to add nuts, you can. Perfectly fine. And you just mix them in there.
and you can use any pan that you'd like. You can use a loaf pan. I'm going to use my Bundt cake pan. Um, I love how it makes it. It makes it really pretty in a circle. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to spray it with some Pam. And then pour it in. Alright everyone, so this is my banana bread. It finally came out of the oven. It's nice and golden brown, just the way I like it. And this is what it should look like. Alright guys, I'm going to try to flip it out onto this plate. All right, everyone, this is what my cake looks like, or my banana bread, nice and brown. And now I'm just going to add the honey glaze to it while it's still hot. And it pulls up in the center, which I really, really like, because when you pull it apart, you can just dip it into the center. Alright everyone, and that is my banana bread and my honey glaze. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and comment. If you're new, subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload new videos every day. Alright, thank you guys. Catch you later. Bye!